Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. So this is gonna be a pretty interesting video because I'm gonna show you how to create a nice slideshow multiple screen effect here inside of After Effects, but but the biggest thing about this video is that this is a free project file that you can download right now. It's a full parallax video slide that is absolutely download for free just in the month of May from Video Hive. And essentially what I figured is that if you are interested in this effect, I can show you how to create some of this via tutorial. And then you can take this even further and explore the template itself or even use this for your own commercial use. So that's what's cool about Video Hive is that every single month they give away one free project file. And usually it's a really awesome project file because usually the project files they give away have you know a tremendous amount of sales. This one already has 307 sales. So that's pretty cool that they're giving away a pretty popular product you know, for free. So that is pretty cool. Also, my good friend Natrazim is having an awesome sale for the next few days on Video Library and Montage Library. I created full review videos on these products. You should definitely check these out and you should definitely get in on this product before the sale ends. They are tremendous plugins for After Effects and I'll take a look at one of them inside of this video towards the end. But let's go ahead and jump in this video and definitely be sure to check those links out in the description if you want to download this project file for free. It's over a minute long and there's nearly 350 layers inside the main composition. So that's pretty awesome and you can really break this down and learn how to do it. But let me show you guys how you can set this up yourself so you don't necessarily have to reverse engineer everything if you wanted to learn how to do this so come here create a new composition and I'll just call it main and the first things first always with templates you know you always want to bring in like your footage your images and you want to create a placeholder I always use my cinematography reel but let's come here and when you have your image or a video in here you want to go to layer pre-compose and I like to call it placeholder this way a little bit later you can always you know swap it out and you know change what you need to later so this is our placeholder and now what we have to do is actually create the you know the multiple screen effect and it's really easy to do this so what we can do is grab the rectangle tool and make sure no layer is selected of course and go to the fill click on the word fill make sure that's set the solid color and set it to black or any color that you want I'm gonna turn the stroke off and from here we have to decide how do we want to display this well I'm gonna try to keep it very similar to what we saw in the template and just draw out a straight box like this that looks cool. And what we can do to keep the, you know, the shape exactly the same, we can grab the rectangle one here, duplicate it by going up to edit, duplicate, and we can open up the layer here and go to transform rectangle two, and we can rotate it by 90 degrees and we can just move it over. So, all right. And you know, that could be our, you know, our slideshow, if you will. And what's cool about this in this video, I want to make each quadrant you know unique so what I want to do is I want to make the bottom here like this bad TV effect and I want to keep this image on the left side of our composition here so what I want to do is go up to layer new adjustment layer and I want to put this layer right underneath the shape layer and I'm gonna go up to effect color correction and I'm just gonna throw on a tint and this is gonna affect the entire image so what we can do is grab the rectangle tool and I only want this effect applied below uh, the, you know, the bottom half of this image so I'm gonna grab the rectangle tool and just draw out this mask like this so all of our effects will be applied lower to here <laughs> you know lower than the black bar let's go to effect noise and grain and let's add noise and we can increase this by a little bit Ooh, not so much and we can also uncheck use color noise so it just becomes monochromatic one technique that we could do here is also go to effect transition and we can add venetian blinds and this is going to give it like let's just increase it and so you can give it the black bars like this that's pretty cool you can change the direction of it so we go to 90 degrees and you know that looks pretty cool you can increase the width so you get some pretty interesting looks there so keep it at that now let's say we want to add a different image on the right side so this is very easy to do what we can do is grab our placeholder we grab the rectangle tool and we just draw out a mask on this side Boom, right? So now we have to bring in another placeholder as we did before. We'll create a new composition. We'll call it placeholder two. We could bring in our next, you know, video clip. Okay, and this is just my cinematography reel, so I have plenty of footage inside of this. And then go back to my main comp, bring in placeholder two. And what's cool about this, I can reposition these clips. So, you know, if I need to move that over a little bit, I can also move this over by a touch. And might have to readjust the mask, of course. Apparently, I like framing people on the right side of the frame. So, yeah, that's cool. All right, and I just went in and swapped in an image in there. Okay, so this is essentially you know what we have so far. So we're able to bring in multiple images and do an effect here. Now, let's say you want to add some design, you know, to the bars here, which we obviously can do. What we can do to create some numbers is instead of typing on the textile tool and animating numbers, what we can do is just create another adjustment layer. Go to Effect Text and grab numbers 
and just fine click OK and we can change the type to you know pretty much anything here you can do like dates you can do time code which will keep it at time code maybe we'll do 24 frames a second and we can check on random values and this will animate the number completely on its own and we can come here to the bottom composite it on original this way we can see through it we can change the color to white and there's this little anchor point right here we can drag it bring it here and we can decrease the size so now you have some actual you know, number values in there and we can come here and we can duplicate the adjustment layer go to options out here at the top and you click on vertical for the direction and you click OK and now you have some vertical you know numbers here and once again we can grab that anchor point or at least go to the position and we can just reposition where we want to put this other one so you can really create a nice stylized you know split screen here maybe we'll change the time code to short date I think that could be cool and let's say you want to add like some animated arrows in here like we saw in the preview you can grab the polygon tool make sure no layer selected and draw out a very small polygon set the fill to you know color that you can see it on we can go open up the polystar, go into the polystar path, and set the points to three. And of course, we want to rotate it to 90 degrees. And there's that. And we go to add, and we can add a repeater. We go to the repeater of one. We can maybe set the number of copies. We can keep it at three copies. I'm cool with that. And come here to the position for under transform repeater one and bring that in. And we can animate the end op opacity here by adding keyframe, move forward by a second, set it down to like 0% copy the keyframes move forward by another second paste those in there and we can do that you know copy them all again and paste that in there so you'll have a little bit of a flicker to the arrows i know you really can't see because i need to lower the resolution here but that's essentially how you can do that so this is essentially this effect this nice split screen effect you can stylize it and it's really cool you of course can add more effects at the top here if you want to like colorize it or add more noise or so really what I suggest doing is make sure to download their project file so you can see multiple examples of how to put this together. And what I want to talk about is Animation Studio, which is basically Montage Library, which I talked about at the beginning of the video. And if we really want to take this next level, we can come here to the Light Leaks folder and we can add a nice Light Leak. We just click on it, click Apply, and it literally adds this Light Leak in about one second so we can start stylizing this even further. So Montage Library is for you know, montages and it really just adding a ton of effects. So we go to chromatic if you want to. We have this nice light leak that plays across our entire project. And there's some nice VHS type effects in this, uh, you know, library. There's over 750 effects that you can instantly apply into After Effects here. So this is a pretty awesome plugin and I definitely suggest uh, checking it out. And after our render here with our new montage library layers here, we're able to take this, you know, static slideshow and add some life into it. And you can bring this onto new slides. And, you know, this is a really cool effect to really enhance your work in a couple of seconds. There's over 750 effects pre-made. You just drag and drop here into any project file. You can use it as many times as you want. And it really just brings your work to the next level in a couple of seconds. So that is really awesome. Go ahead and check that out. Make sure the links, the links are in the description and it is on sale right now for 40% off, I think. So you only have a few days left if you're watching this video uh, at the time of upload. And remember, in the month of May, you can download this parallax video slide for absolutely free. The link is in this video description or in the comment section as well. Make sure to click on that and you can download this for absolutely free. So, so you have about 27 days left before the month's over. So go ahead and, you know, get a download on this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and able to learn how to create this slideshow effect and also hopefully you'll learn even further if you download the project file. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel Sunduck Film for more After Effects videos like this. Turn on the post notifications so you know when we upload a video. And of course, be sure to hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the description of the video. And always be creating.